Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video for the series for the Radio Master Boxer, I'm going to show you how to add flapperons to your fixed wing aeroplane. Now the one thing you have to have is a servo for each aileron to be able to do this. So let's switch over to the radio and I'll show you how to program this. Right, let's have a look. We're going to go into our model settings and we need to go across until we get to the mixes. Now we need to put in a couple of lines here. Now what I've done, I've set up two dual rates. So one would like be for taking off and one would be for landing. Um, you could obviously make this one if you wanted to. So you can see our channel one is our first aileron and channel five is our second aileron. So if we go back up, so we're gonna just have a look at the first line. And you can see it all is pretty standard. It's the bog standard settings for normal ailerons. There's nothing in there we need to do. Then we need to add a line. And to add a line, we push enter. And we say insert after. And that will put the new line in. Then the settings we need to put into there are, I've named it flap one. I've put the source max. Now max means it's going to go to the full range that you're going to put into your mix. So if we go down and you can see that there's the weight, which is 40. So I've done 40% for the first uh, uh, flap. Then if we go through, let's just have a look. And now you can see we've set up a switch for this. So we can uh, make the flaps go down or up. Out. So let's go, Flat. wrong switch. Let's go to the switch. Flaps one. So there's flaps one. Flaps two. Flaps one, flaps up. Okay, and that will be it. We don't need to put anything else in here. Then we go on to the second line. And you can see, we, again, we've used the source map, max. We've put the weight in at 60 this time and the switch SB in the uh, back position. So as you can see, I'll set this switch up forward. It's going to be no flaps and then the two flaps are the middle and back towards me. So then we would set up exactly the same for the channel five. You can see the now there it says negative weight, negative weight. Now this will all depend on how your servos are installed in your wings, whether this will need to be a, a plus figure or a minus figure. You'll just have to set it up, actuate the flaps. If one of the flaps goes up instead of down, you know you've got to change that to the opposite of whatever it is, which would obviously would change from a minus or, or, or to a plus. So that is it. Now let's just have a quick look at the the, the special functions and you can see I've set up the special functions there and it's a matter of selecting your switch play track and then picking the track that you actually want to, it to play so flaps one, flaps two, flaps one, flaps up. Uh, there we go now let's go out of here now let's take a look at this actually working okay you can see my ailerons are working the two channels are moving now if I click the button middle the first flap setting flaps two. and then the second flap setting so you can see that's it's uh, flaps work, flaps up. working completely now make sure you thoroughly test this before you fly your airplane obviously to make sure this is right but there's also another option now if you're running out of switches now the things the ready master tech 16 has, has tons of switches so you don't generally run out of them but with the boxer you've got less switches on this radio than you do uh, with the uh, tx 16s so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to show you how to set this up uh, as a, on a momentary switch and which you make into a sticky switch so that you could use the button that's on the top of your radio here to be able to actuate the flaps. So let's take a look at this. Now I'm going to come out of this model and I'm going to go to the flaps momentary one. Let's select that. Oopsie Designed. daisy. Right, now, if we go to our flaps, you can see I've only set this up for one flap position. That's because there is only one, the momentary switch can, is set up just to do one flap, so one amount of degrees of flap. So if we edit this, and you can see, if we go down to the switch, the only difference is we've picked up logical switch 
L, uh, logical switch 05. So now let's have a look at the logic logical switches that set this up. So we're going to come out of here. We're going to go over. And there is the logical switch that's activating the flaps now. And you can see on the first line, I've left a space here deliberately uh, so that we uh, you can see it clearly. So we go to the first line, we're going to select edge. Then we select the switch SF, which is the one up here. And we don't put any information or, or numbers into the section here. Let's just edit this. It'd be easier if I edit it to show you. Right. You can see the function is edge. V1 is the switch pressed down and then nothing else. You would just leave this as default. Come back out, then go into your next line. So let's edit that. You can see the function is sticky. And then you're going to pick the previous logical switch, which was number four for both V1 and V2. And that is it. So if we come out, if I push the button, you can see the, the switch is activated. Click it again and it's unactivated. So that's how we set the a sticky switch up to a momentary switch. As I say, it's quite useful that if you're with this, with a boxer where you might be running out of uh, switches because you're using it for a fixed wing aeroplane. Right, let's go back. Let's come out of here. And now we can demonstrate it. You can see my ailerons, both my ailerons are working. If I push the button, flaps, down. flaps drop. If I push again, flaps up. And uh, there we go. That's it set up. Well, I hope you found this video useful. You would be able to use the momentary switch for other applications if you want to. And there's, I've done a lot of different videos um, for setting up like the six position switches that you get on your radio. So if you go and look at my uh, playlist, you'll be able to find that where I do more complicated programming of the switches. But that just gives you a basic idea of what you, how you can convert the momentary switch into a normal on off switch. Well, I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.